I, at least from my perspective, I think it's important to know that uh, we continue on this path to to uh, shift lead security responsibility to the Afghans by the end of 2014. Uh, while there may be some ongoing discussions about what's next, uh, the discussions that I've seen essentially model it not unlike Iraq, a shift to a training mission, uh, and then obviously a, uh, a negotiation with the Afghans about you know, what the long-term strategic relationship will be. That's why I think this strategic partnership declaration currently being negotiated is so important, because that really is a commitment. We're going to be there longer than 2014. Not unlike Pakistan, we left Afghanistan in 1989. They remember that. So that long-term commitment is absolutely critical. The pieces of it, we just haven't put that together. Uh, the, you know, you, there are people who we can speculate about that, what the composition might be. Uh, I honestly don't know, and, and there's been no determination, uh, except to say that there is this long-term commitment and how we do that which I think will be critical, uh, is going to be important. And if we leave, if we leave the region, it's my view, uh, not unlike what happened before, we'll be back. Uh, it'll only get worse. And you've got a very unstable, two, two unstable countries, quite frankly, one with nuclear weapons, terrorists who seek nuclear weapons, uh, and the proliferation of them uh, without any question, should we depart, will bring us back in a much more difficult situation. Right. Mr. Secretary, your comments on these topics? I, I think uh, from, from the very beginning, the President's made clear that uh, we will have an enduring presence there. Uh, and uh, we're in the process, obviously, of negotiating that now with the Afghans uh, with regards to the agreement uh, uh, with, uh, on forces. But uh, I think it's, it's clear that, uh, you know, as, as we draw down, as we uh, try to provide this transition, uh, that we are working towards, that uh, in the future uh, we are, we have to be prepared to listen to their needs uh, and what will you know what will they need in terms of training, in terms of security, uh, in the future that uh, will give us the opportunity to ensure that all of the gains that have been made will continue on the right track. 